I was knee high to a noken, but Sindri had never had it. Said a two on two. But today's finally the day. Whoa! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up! No, fuck you. Yeah. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. <laughs> this lady. She do. Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll tell you that tale. <laughs> The only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I plum drop. Time to find or flesh to prove. You have to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's perfect. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn, and it's on to the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge. But we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it.
like it's the forge. Here she comes. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Victor, almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done.
Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look, we got volunteers. Left one. It is the first weapon a Spartan learned. What hell? Ain't it just like old times here? Didn't have put this more forebodingly myself. Let's 